Hi, I'm Bob Hoganson with Martin County Television. In recent weeks, dangerous blue-green algae has been spotted here in the waterways in Martin County. Local, state, and federal officials are now working diligently to stay on top of this ever-changing situation. Signs are up around Martin County warning not to come in contact with blue-green algae. The algae can carry harmful toxins. Some of the initial tests have come back indicating that it is microcystis and that particular algae can um, have toxic, uh, can produce toxins that um, are not safe for human contact. Deborah Drum is Martin County's ecosystem restoration manager. She says that conditions now are prime for blooms to occur. Blue-green algae um, can very typically occur when you have low salinity conditions, high nutrient conditions, and high temperatures. We have all of those three elements in place right now. Blue-green algae has already been spotted in many locations around the county, so it's here even if you don't immediately see it. Blue-green algae isn't in all places at all times. It tends to be ephemeral, which means it can come and go really quickly. You might see it in one location one day and not another day. The St. Lucie Estuary, one of the most biodiverse in the country, depends on a perfect mix of fresh and salt water to thrive. When salinity levels get thrown off, there can be many negative consequences. A major cause of salinity change has been the upstream freshwater releases from Lake Okeechobee. This is video from February when the Army Corps of Engineers authorized maximum flows at the St. Lucie Locks. All this fresh water is heading to our estuary. And although the releases are currently not at that level anymore, the record rains during the usual dry season have kept the lake level high and the releases still coming. The lake levels are extremely high in the lake, about two feet higher than what the Army Corps of Engineers typically likes to see at this time of year. So that means throughout the summer months, more fresh water is heading to the estuary and favorable conditions for algae blooms will continue. So what can we do? Deborah Drum says that while the county has invested millions of dollars over several years in local water quality improvements, releases from Lake Okeechobee will always be imminent. She says we need a place to store that water so it does not have such an impact in our backyards. It really underscores really some of the, the really essential items that we need to be focused on um, in, in the big picture. And some of those are more storage in the system. We clearly don't have the storage that we need. To join the conversation and advocate for our estuary, go to our Speak Up for the St. Lucie Facebook page where factual and current information is shared. And if you are out on the water and see blue-green algae, please call the Florida Department of Environmental Protection at 772-467-5572 and report it. And finally, the Florida Department of Health in Martin County has created a tab on their homepage that will send you directly to health information about blue-green algae. That website is martin.floridahealth.gov. For MCTV, I'm Bob Hoganson.